Beloved Masters, there is an orderly sequence to the cosmic cycles of creation which define and emphasize a great variety of godly expression, therefore, it is important that you learn to flow and adapt to the changes of the time. It is time to discard the restrictive, limiting beliefs of your present state of self-awareness as you gain wisdom, seek higher truths, and grow closer to your original state of divinity. You, the Star Seed, as leaders in the march toward self-empowerment and as proficient co-creators of the new world of tomorrow, are in the midst of an inner mental and emotional clearing and cleansing process of monumental proportions. Are you ready to accept the divine gift we offer, the awesome tools of creation contained within the first ray of divine will or power? New cycles of existence are initiated through a willingness to change, or if you are resistant, through conflict. Much depends on your capacity to attract, respond, and absorb, and then transmit the more refined light frequencies which contain the cosmic higher truths of your new reality. Your soul and higher selves remember the reasons you chose to experience and express painful situations, not as a punishment, but for resolution. Everyone and everything on earth are now being affected by the radiance of the seventh ray, the violet transmuting flame. The beautiful souls who embody the attributes, qualities and virtues of the forthcoming root race are or will be highly evolved and spiritually attuned, and they will be greatly influenced by the seventh ray of transformation, freedom, redemption, purification, ritual and organization. As well as, secondarily, by the first ray of divine will or power, which exemplifies the desire to create anew on the material planes of consciousness. Many of the old Outmoded teachings are being discarded as humanity evolves in wisdom, and as the frequency patterns or consciousness of the masses are refined and attuned to the more harmonious dimensions. As you have observed, the great religions of the world are deep in the throes of change. Only the best of the prevailing religious beliefs will be retained, and the religions that survive will be those establishments willing to expand their spiritual philosophies to incorporate the higher creator truths truths which are being revealed and accepted by the ever-increasing number of advanced souls now embodied on planet Earth. Victim consciousness has been the norm for a great percentage of human beings within the illusional world of the third or fourth dimensional density. The solutions to your problems will not be found by seeking answers outside yourself. Lifting the burdens of distorted, conceptual third-dimensional illusion is a cooperative effort between your subconscious or ego desire body, your conscious mindset, and your soul self. A person with a victim consciousness overlay cannot be rescued, he or she must take personal responsibility to actively seek to reclaim the personal power he or she has given away to others. In the past, the hunger and desires of the physical vessel have overridden the soul's subtle demands for spiritual sustenance. Worry, sadness and despair consist of the vibrational frequencies of limitation and inertia. A very effective barrier has been created by the base physical nature around the wisdom of the soul. It is vitally important that you strengthen your self-determination and your desire for spiritual fulfillment if you are to rise above the prison of negative thought forms you have created over the many past ages. It is time, once and for all, to free yourselves from the martyrhood and victim consciousness that so many of you have associated with duty, loving others, and righteous behavior. Those of you who have awakened to the inspiration, guidance, and wisdom of your soul self and your overlighting higher self are now aware that you can accomplish anything you can envision. You are validating for yourself that if you follow the universal laws of manifestation, you will quickly and easily manifest those things that you most desire, which must always be for the greatest good of all. Multitudes of restless souls are feeling from deep within an awareness that it is time to reclaim their heavenly heritage even if they don't understand the full meaning of the concept. A critical component of self-mastery is that each and every person must go through the process of releasing, transmuting, or upgrading all of the old restricting thought forms and structures that he or she has accepted as his or her reality. We have touched on this subject before, however, vast numbers of blessed souls are fearful of the future and the chaos that seems to be increasing at a tremendous pace. As a result, the masses are beginning to feel the great cosmic impulses that are permeating the earth and all humanity, 
and they are gradually turning inward for answers and assurance. Therefore, it is appropriate that we give you an explanation once more regarding the diverse beliefs in predestination and free will. Many believe one or the other concept to be true, but we have explained that both are true. But you wonder, how can this be? Dear ones, originally, you burst forth in perfection from the heart core of the Supreme Creator, and from the beginning you were predestined and programmed to eventually return to the higher, more glorious realms of existence. How long it takes you to complete your journey into the realms of separation and density, and the return into unity consciousness is totally up to you. Through the use of the gift of free will, only you can decide whether you will take the high, narrow accelerated path of return, the ebb and flow of the middle path, or the rocky, low road that dips, winds and turns, but eventually leads to the same destination. You, the star seed, now understand that it is of great value to spend some time in meditation and contemplation, reviewing the structures you have created in your third or fourth dimensional reality, which includes mental, emotional, physical and even some spiritual restrictions. As you do so, you will expediently determine that it is time to release many of the ties that bind you, so that you may move quickly into the expanded, empowering world of tomorrow. Many brave souls have been victorious in overcoming their lower nature, and are now firmly reconnected with their personal pillar of light as they steadily tread the path of ascension. It is a grand opportunity to reclaim your trinity of consciousness, your refined mental, emotional and spiritual natures. It is our greatest desire that you will choose the high road, for you are being presented with a golden opportunity that has never before been offered to humanity an opportunity which will not be offered again for a very long time. One of the most important exercises you can perform in order to become a sovereign being once more is the breaking agreements meditation that we gave our messenger many years ago. We are reminding you of this important process once again, so that you may forever free yourselves of the karmic probable futures you have created with others down through the many past ages. Breaking agreements, taking back your personal power breaking agreements when you are in a self-conscious or conscious of self, alpha state helps you to eliminate self-defeating restrictive suggestions more quickly and thoroughly. We are asking you not to lay blame, but as a self-master becoming to rise above the conflict and the hurt and objectively endeavor to understand the difficult lessons that you have experienced with others. Your karmic partners and lessons were always chosen by you and the other person before you incarnated into this lifetime. It is extremely important that you understand this fact. Over many past ages, you have sent out energy timelines that have created probable futures, promising such things as, I will love you forever. I will hate you forever. I will take care of you forever, and so on. In order to become a sovereign being once more, you must take back your own energy and give back other people their energy, so that you may continue on your path as masters of your own destiny. In this way, you will no longer have your lessons mirrored back to you by others. Through conscious awareness, you will understand what each person you interact with and each occurrence has to teach you so that you may gain the wisdom from the action and not have to experience it in the old, often painful, cause and effect manner. If you haven't already done so, we suggest you go through this exercise with each and every person with whom you have ever had conflict or stressful learning situations. It is time to fully open your sacred heart center, both the front and back portals, so that the Creator Light can flow into you and through you. This will allow your threefold flame within your solar power center to blaze forth as it was designed to do. This will also allow the refined Creator Light, adamantine particles, to flow into your sacred heart center and throughout your physical vessel, and the remainder to radiate forth out into the world of form. This is your ultimate goal. Breaking Agreements Meditation go into your work pyramid and be seated at the head of the table. Invite your higher self and your angelic guides to stand behind you. There is a violet flame burning beneath the table and the double terminated crystal hanging over the table is sweeping waves of light throughout the room. Envision the person you wish to break agreements with seated in the chair at the opposite end of the crystal table from you. 
Ask his or her higher self to stand behind him or her. See your higher self connecting with the higher self of the person with whom you wish to resolve any discordant energy. If you have had a very difficult past with that person, you may wish to have a dialogue with them. You will be communicating with their higher self, and therefore there will be an understanding of what you wish to convey, if you speak lovingly and objectively. Do not lay blame for what has happened in the past, just state your heartfelt feelings and what you wish the other person to understand. An example would be, all I have ever wanted was for us to have a mutual understanding of each other's needs. I now know that I must honor myself and feel worthy in order to have a satisfying relationship with anyone. I know you did the best you could, for you have your own burdens to release and resolve. I wish you to know I have no ill feelings and that you have helped me to better understand what I must do to become self-empowered and a more worthy or loving person. Take several deep breaths and lovingly focus on their heart or soul centers as you state, I forgive you for any past, present or future energies or thoughts or deeds, in this or any other reality that you have projected to me which have not resonated with unconditional love. I ask your forgiveness for any past present or future energies or thoughts or deeds, in this or any other reality, that I have projected to you which have not resonated with unconditional love. I hereby break any agreements, past present or future, in this or any other reality, that do not serve my greatest good. Envision any cords that are attached from the other person's solar plexus to your solar plexus. See my blazing sword slicing through those energy cords, and watch as your energy cords gradually return to your solar plexus center, and the other person's energy cords return to them. In addition to the above exercise, it is important that you go into your personal pyramid and lie on your crystal table. Ask your higher self to scan your body to determine if there are any etheric tears in your auric field, front or back. The most common etheric tears are in the three lower chakra area which leave you susceptible to security or scarcity issues, ego desire body or sexual issues or compulsive behavior, and so on. The other most prevalent area is across the heart from one shoulder down to the lower rib cage, either in front or in back. You have placed etheric shields around your heart for protection or etheric tears have been created when you have been betrayed by loved ones, violently killed, or when you suffered great trauma. Some of the symptoms are feeling unloved, a sense of unworthiness, guilt, self-hatred, or pain anguish or tightness in the heart area from grief or a sense of loss. If you determine that there are any etheric tears in your auric field, all you have to do is say, I ask that now and for all time any and all etheric tears be healed, and it will be done. I will seal them with my blazing sword of light, and your auric field will once again be seamless and whole. It is time to heal and rise above that which you chose as your tests and challenges for this lifetime, dear hearts. Reach upward and inward for your majestic divine self. We can and will assist you, however, it must be a partnership endeavor. There are miracles in store for you, beloveds, and the greatest of these is that your perfection awaits you. May the radiance of the Creator shine down upon you. You are loved beyond measure. I am Archangel Michael.